met you in my church. Why won't you invite you in my church? I am confused, Daddy. I don't know what to do. This is not what I bargained for. I'm sure you are aware of what the Bible says, that we should not be equally yoked with unbelievers. You know that. I know, but you also know my situation, Daddy. For so long I've believed God for the perfect husband. And Charles came along. He fits the bill 100%. And I truly love him. I, but you also know that time is no longer on my side. There's something I want you to know. It is the woman who holds the spiritual balance in any family. This is a time to show forth your strength and commitment in the things of God. The God that you serve. Now, let me just tell you something. Um, it was my wife who made me the pastor I am today. Really? Yes, of course. You see, things were very bad for me and I was not strong in the things of the Lord. And uh, my business almost crumbled. In fact, I was going down the drain. Until my wife convinced me to go for prayers with her at her new church. Um, she told me, of course, that the presence of God was made manifest in that church. Well, I reluctantly agreed and joined her for prayers. And the rest is history. I mean, the effect is rather imagined and discussed. Look at me. You can see the power of God showing in my life. It can happen to you. Honestly, someday it will be well. But you must use this opportunity to hold the spiritual direction of your family. No matter the resistance, it should not deter you. Who knows? Someday, but I'm sure of this, things will be well and everybody will be happy. That's the end of it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? This is what I have been telling you, but you wouldn't listen. Now look at it. And this is the reason you rejected Chief Apugo's son. Eh? Yes. Mama, you know the reason I rejected Chief Apugo's son. It was not because of church at all. He was just an empty head. Was or still, I don't even know which one he belongs to. He was all about his father's wealth. My father's money this, my father's money that. Was I going to be married to his father's money? I am too educated to settle with a dunce. I can't do that. Hey, Amaka! Amaka! If you try to make a working money, you turn out with a dunce. Hey, Amaka! Hey! Amaka! Sometimes I wish you weren't a lawyer. Yes! It makes you so stubborn. Mama, why are you doing this? Why are you fighting me? Why are you criticizing me? Are you not supposed to be on my side? Amaka, I am not criticizing you. I am just telling you the whole truth. Whole truth or not, it has nothing to do with my dilemma. I cannot solve what I'm going through right now. Okay. Okay. So, you want a solution, eh? Now listen to me. You have to stop all the arguments with your husband. And agree to wait in his church. After all, it is also your parents' church. Then after, you cannot continue with your own church. Oh my God, what will everybody say? My choir members, my pastor, Reverend James, Reverend Peter. What are they going to say? That Sister Maka left the church to get married somewhere else. This is going to be so embarrassing, so shameful. What am I going to tell them? How am I even going to set my foot in the church? Amaka, whether you like it or not, you are not supposed to be crying. You're supposed to be rejoicing. Look at me today. I didn't get everything I wanted from your father. I did not. But look at me today. Look at me. I am here. Look at my all my achievements. You have seen everything. So you have to comport yourself. Just bring yourself down. Are you not proud of me, Amaka? Say it. Answer me now. He's just acting like a dog in a manger. 
I don't even understand why he's insisting. All these men that don't go to church, they are very dangerous. They don't have the fear of God in them. Some of them are cultists. It's not as if Charles does not go to church. He does go to church, but he is not committed at all. And trust me, the only time they get to go to church is probably when they're in their villages. And that is to show off. He said it himself. That he only goes to church to please his mother. Who does that? You go to church just to please your mother. That's the reason I asked if you've seen daddy. At least daddy will assess him with his spiritual eyes. Daddy's not happy with me at all. He's not. But he has requested to see us tomorrow. I just pray he makes him see reasons. Not to worry, I trust daddy. But if you ask me if he doesn't wed you in our church, then there should be no wedding. Because come to think of it, that is the only place you have your friends. The crowd, the choir, everyone. Exactly. He, he just, just doesn't understand it and I don't know why. How? I can't wed in that dull church. I understand. I need to wed in a church where, you know. Mm. <sighs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine, okay? At least see daddy first. First things first. Fine, babe. You're good? Yes. Um, my... Where's the remote? It's there. Do you want me to get it? No, it's fine. You are going to say something. Yes. Um, my pastor has requested to see you. For what? I don't know. He said he wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. What is this, um... What is this one-on-one -on -one about? Sweetheart, listen, if it's about the wedding, tell him that I'm not coming to see him. And also do well to tell him that I'm getting married to you and not to him and his church members. Don't, don't be like this. This church and my pastor, they have, they've been my backbone for several years. As a matter of fact, the job I have now, I got from his connection. I hold several positions in the church and my pastor uses me as a role model to all the young girls in church. How would they now feel when they say, oh, Sister Maka is getting married outside the church? Please, darling, please. Let's just get married in the church and then you can choose not to come to the church ever again. Amaka. I won't bother Amaka. you. Amaka, you see your attachment to your pastor is beginning to get me to think. Yeah, that's the truth. You know, if I had known that you were this committed and attached to your pastor and your church, like, we, 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 we wouldn't be talking about marriage. The first place, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have come this far with this conversation, honestly. How can you say that? I'm telling you the honest truth. I'm beginning to feel that we might have problems in our marriage. Really? Oh, yes. And I'll have you know that I have zero tolerance for women who despise their husbands but worship their pastors. Charles, how can, you, how can you be saying all of this? Because I know how those things work. These women go ahead to start sleeping with their pastors. I have pastor friends. I know what happens in the church. Especially these Yahoo Yahoo churches. I know what happens there. Alright? Well, maybe other churches, but not my church. Certainly not my pastor. You never can tell. Oh yes, I can tell you for free that pastors sleep with their church members, whether married or unmarried. I'm asking you again, are you sleeping with this man? Charles, are you Okay, why would you ask me that kind of question? What do you mean by that? You better not be lying to me. Really? You know what? This matter has lingered for too long, all right? My stance on this is simple. We're Africans, and I'm a traditional man. Okay, a woman does not have a church 
until she's married. So now that we're married, my church is your church. I don't see what we're arguing about. Charles, just this one favor I ask. This is sorted. Please, oh, sweetheart, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. please. I have tried what I have tried everything, but you need to help me, please. Well, I can see your mind is made up. I don't have a problem with it, but uh, my fear is that what the congregation will say about a staunch member like you, committed, strong, going away to another church. I am not going away. I am coming back after the wedding. It's just for the wedding day. Yeah, but honestly, it is not healthy for a couple to be worshipping in different churches. It's not. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says that shall any two work together except they agree? Agreement is key. It is not healthy for a couple to worship in different churches. I know that to show my commitment to the church, I am willing to pay whatever it would have cost for me to have the wedding here. I am willing to pay every single kobo from my pocket. It's okay. <laughs> what more can I say? You are a committed member, a very strong one at that. Well, I will protect your image and the church. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. The rest are short. <laughs> well, my daughter. Um, Maybe that's another way God wants to bring your husband into the fold. Exactly. Because I'm willing to do everything, whatever it takes, to make sure he worships with us. He will see the difference. He's not so keen in worshipping in his own church. It's just this ego thing that men have. Anytime a woman brings up an idea or a suggestion, you just want to go against it because it was a woman that brought it up. <laughs> yes, I understand that. I know men are their yeah, ego and all that. They always want to get the upper hand. But you know, it's different with uh, men of God like us, anointed. We understand the place of a woman. We know that women are the pillars of the home. <laughs> but it's okay, it's well. Praise God for that. <laughs> um, bow down, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your daughter. Amen. Even as she goes to another church to marry, we believe that the body of Christ is one. Amen. She shall go in peace. Amen. Lord, the ministry power behind this ministry shall go with her. Amen. Nothing will stop her finances in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Go and be blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Uh, sweetheart, you know that our wedding is in less than two months. Yeah, you know, seven weeks to be precise. Uh, so this Sunday, our names will be announced in church as um, church tradition demands. Um, I think after what three announcement, um, we'll be good to go. Hmm. All these old church traditions. What old church tradition, darling? Those old church traditions are the traditions that brought the church to our people. Those are the people that paid the price, made the sacrifice, inconvenienced themselves to take the church to the local communities. Eh? They told us about our Lord Jesus Christ. They taught us everything that we need to know about Christianity. It's not what you have now. It's not this fake men of God that you have everywhere, you know, sleeping with people's wives and, and exploiting people, extorting Charles. money from them Charles. in the name of seeds, tight offering, first fruit, second fruit. Charles. Yes, baby. Have I not agreed to wed in your church? You have. So what is this now? Why are you rubbing it in? Why are you just, you know, overflogging the matter? We heard you were complaining. Complaining, so I do not have the right to complain. Complaining is my fundamental human right, in case you do not know. I have the right to complain if I feel the need to, anywhere, anyhow, any way I choose. 
it is my right. I agree. It's also my right to respond and educate you appropriately. Do you know what? Yes. I'm not complaining again. Please don't. Can we just drop the top? <laughs> but you know about our Lord Jesus Christ, don't you? I have just told you that I, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> As a matter of fact, darling, I, I made a to-do list. Yes. Oh. I, I, as you can see, there, there are duplicated copies here. So one for you. Hold now. Uh -huh. One for me. On the first page, you have a list of the things um, that we have to do. Like I said, we have just seven weeks. Um, marriage course, very important. Food, drinks, wedding venue, invitation card, wedding gown, wedding suit, um, gifts, decoration extra this list is a bit long you know we're working on a budget um cameramen if necessary souvenirs do we need do we do we need souvenirs anything you, you decide this is just a rough sketch you know it's subject to change then i see master of ceremony i have a, a, a classmate of mine now he's one of the um comedians trending on social media so i'll call him um to come and support us um, He's not a pastor trending on social media. He's a comedian. A DJ, um, photo shoot. Do we need to do a photo shoot? No. Um, transportation. People, people are going to come in their cars. Trek. Yeah. Um, come, why, why did I? Yeah, that's about it. Okay, cooling van for the drinks. The weather is cool now, so people don't need cold water. No, 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 no. Come on, let's be nice to them. Mm, cooling van. Mm -hmm. okay. You have a con any a contribution we, we can add to? So this is subject to, you know, to, you know, to your, you know. As a lordship, please. Okay. So traditionally, um, this is how, you know, things are meant to be done, you know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tell me you're serious about moving in. Yes, now. I told you. The amount of work we have to do before the D-Day is so enormous and we cannot do it staying very far apart. We cannot coordinate that way, so I gotta do what I gotta do. I understand, especially with this Lagos traffic. This Lagos traffic? This mad traffic? I can't, I can't. I will not be productive at all. But then again, I am happy that the issue has been solved. Hmm, joy. I never knew this my wedding was generating so much attention. It's on the lips of everyone in the office, in the church, all the shops I've been to, they're all waiting. Imagine if I had gone back to them to say, no wedding again. God forbid. I can imagine. I will even be feeling the pressure from her. I know, I know. <laughs> but thank God everything is resolved. My darling, I have two bags inside. Please help me. Okay. Okay. okay? All right. My mama, the meaning of love. Just like tangerine, when you taste it, you will feel the faint inside. Just like tangerine, no, when you taste it, you will feel the faint inside. Oh, oh, oh. Give up on the Ojiba Muna Lava. Thank you. Aunt mm -hmm. ah. So if to say, I no come. Now so only you for carry this big bag without calling me to help you. Is that how you like to suffer? Suffer? It's just a small bag. It's barely full. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, but Aunt Amaka, I don't know you are this way. Uh, what, what do you mean? So for all this fasting and prayer that I've been doing for you on your head for you to get good husband you are just going to pack out without settling me. <laughs> Mr. Columbus, the kind of things you come up with they're so weird and funny. There's nothing funny. 
Sister Amaka. Mm. The Bible says a laborer is worthy of his wages. Don't you go to church? I do. Ah. Don't worry, I am not packing out. I'm still here. My things are still in the house. I'm just temporarily leaving to go and get set for, for my wedding. It is not okay. In fact, I am not okay. Eh? You must settle me. Okay. But I gave you some money yesterday, didn't I? <coughs> but that was... Uh, it, it was not packing out money. Oh, there's now packing out money? Of course. <laughs> All right, no problem. Let me go and get my bag and then I'll see you. I am going, but not packing out. Okay? okay? All right. <laughs> I am waiting, you know. <laughs> No leave, no transfer. I am still hanging on. Eh? <laughs> hey! I must receive my own miracle today. Miracle no retire Jesus. <laughs> Nami be Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Ami, I'm at the law. And I'm not the law. <laughs> ah, I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too, darling. <laughs> but I'm not going, going. I'm still here. My things are still in the house. If there's any need for me to be around, I'll pop in. Okay. How will I cope alone? You will cope fine. Okay? Just make sure you take care of yourself and you always lock the doors. Okay? I'll remember that. Good. Columbus, make sure you take care of how. I will, I will. <laughs> More than. Alright. I need to go. Alright, fine. <laughs> take care. <laughs> okay, um, Columbus. Packing out money. There you go. I'm at the law. <laughs> That's why I trust you. You know the shame. Look at. Now your mate give me this one. You don't need any pastor to pray for you to get a husband. I'm the one that pray for her. <laughs> Only what you need is that. Go and get a good husband. Let me go and open the gate. Not for you. Hello, Sister Joy. How are you? Hello, Daddy. I am not happy with you. With me? What could it be matter? I want to see you. It's not something we should discuss over the phone. I want to see you and now. Um, you can't see me now because I'm preparing for a delivery service. In fact, I was just standing up to leave the office now. Um, is this matter something that can wait till tomorrow? What time tomorrow? At uh, 5 p.m. at the office. See, um, Joy, just calm down. There's no matter God cannot solve. Okay? By the grace of God, you will find the solution to God. 5 p.m. then. Good to try me. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Good. Welcome. Thank you. Right, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I see this one. Yeah. Um, 
and um, this one. Okay. And this. Oh my god. Oh. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. This one over here. That's for what. Can I handle this? Yes, I can. Okay. Thanks. No need. All the other day, I asked my mama the meaning of love. Just like tangerine, when you taste it, you will feel different inside. Just like tangerine, no. sleep with the lights on. I can't sleep with the lights out. I'm afraid of the dark. So what am I going to do now? I want the lights back on, please. <clears throat> Thank you. Good night. So serious on phone. You show me how little I mean to you. What are you saying? You made me reject Ben and other suitors before. But has gone ahead to approve of Amaka getting married to an outsider. And he's even planning wedding her in another church. Oh. Come on, Sister Joy. 
It is not the way you just put it. Tell me. How should I put it? Listen, I, I only advise that we do not be equally yoked with unbelievers, just as the Spirit directed. No, but the Spirit did not direct you in Amaka's case. Of course it did, and I told her. But she insisted on getting married to the man, and I couldn't stop her. But you stopped me. Daddy, you stopped me. This is not fair. This is not fair, Daddy. Ben was willing to wed me in our church. Yet, you rejected him. But went ahead to approve of that stubborn man who hasn't even honored your invitation up until now. If you ask me, this is passion. This is Sister Joy. You are exaggerating things. You are misunderstanding it. Have you forgotten that you and Amaka are not in the same category? You're saying Amaka is higher than me. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that Amaka is not getting any younger. Time is running out on her. Yes, I mean, time is running out on her. Just understand that. You're different. So I'm the one, I'm the one who is a vampire, right? Like I'm not aging myself. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Dad. Yes. I made a transfer to your account. Please confirm it. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I got it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. Thank you. Um, please, I, I still need all the help that you can render. Anything at all. Yes, at this time, I need all the help you can render to me, please. Uh, um, I'll speak to you later. Uh, I'm in the middle of a meeting now. Okay? All right. Thank you, Daddy. I'll call you back later. All right. Bye-bye. Taking him forever to come. Listen, my dear, the prophecies of God take time. A thousand years is like a day before God. Come on. They manifest at the time of God. As his own time, not our own time. Come on. Oh. My baby, do do this. Everything will be well. Now give daddy a smile. I don't know, sometimes you even look prettier where you frown. I still love you, come on. Ah, okay. Wanna give daddy a kiss? Alright. Leave me alone. Come on, come with daddy to the Leave me, leave me. Oh, please, please. I'm not in the mood. It shows you're still angry with me. Shut up. Now, wait. Hey, Auntie Joy, Auntie Joy. <laughs> Auntie Joy, you're welcome. Uh, Auntie Joy. Auntie Joy, uh -uh. not so fast. Eh? Auntie Joy, you are welcome. Thank you. What is <laughs> eh, Auntie Joy, do you know that life is stone by stone? And what do you mean by that? Eh, I want to officially tell you that your friend Amoka has made it. <laughs> now it is your turn. But I know one that kind of stingy man like Amaka's husband. We used to keep wallets at the back of the back pockets eh? and keep the real money inside pants. I know one time. 
Um, 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 um what is your name again? What, what, what is that your name? Uh, Columbus. Columbus, right? Uh -huh. Listen to me. I am not a maka who takes all kinds of nonsense from you. Uh -huh. Stay away from me. Stay on your lane and mind your business. Uh -huh. Why is he even angry? Eh? Is it my fault that uh, 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 the no better man has come for you? Eh? The only thing you know is how to follow all these Chingon boys, all these Malian boys, all these Kepu Kepu boys that used to wear pants on top of boxer. It's not your fault. Oh, it's not your fault. If nobody say the aeroplane where they drive crash, what am I even doing here? Wedding after party. Hi, wedding after party. Hi, eh? Wedding after party. Hmm? Wedding after party. <laughs> hey, Columbus, Columbus, you're not gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good evening, sir. Joy, how are you? I'm very well, thank <laughs> you. Please sit down. Thank you. I'm not gonna ask that shit. See how I died, but I said it's better to be early than late. Right, right, right. Um, she's not here yet, though. Um, I guess she's stuck in traffic then. Oh, yeah, she should be in traffic. What do I offer you? Uh, not to worry, I'm fine. You sure? Yes, I am. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're so fast about. I mean, you're so fast concerning your marriage with Amaka. <laughs> oh, do you have me do now? I have been single for too long. Uh, now that I have met a beautiful woman like Amaka, I gotta not wait. <laughs> I'm really just excited, you know. Don't want to miss out this, on this opportunity. Meaning you are not marrying out of love. Well, I haven't said so. Uh, <laughs> I haven't said so. Um, you see, you know, honestly, I think you guys exaggerate the the, the place of love in marriage. Yeah, because really love is not enough, you know. I mean, I have, I have dated and fallen in love with a lot of women that I, that I really loved, but couldn't marry. Uh, why? I mean, if you love someone, you should marry that person. Nah, no, my dear. It, it doesn't work that way. Mm, trust me. Listen now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying should, the partners shouldn't love themselves. I mean, I mean, love is important in marriage, but uh, you see, maturity and understanding uh, are key elements that you know one should really look out for. I mean, look around you, see what's happening all over the place. People killing themselves because they, you know, stabbing their spouses because what they, they, they love so much that they cannot take all that comes with the pressure of being married. Uh, that's what I call love without maturity. If you get what I'm trying to say. People stabbing people. See what's happening. You know, so people just love. Mm -hmm. No maturity, no, no understanding. You get what I mean? Yes, I do. So, <laughs> but, but cheating can be painful. Of course, I agree. I mean, cheating can be very painful. But if you're, if you're with someone who is... You know, forgive my friends, silly enough not to respect the sanctity of what the both of you have. You have an option. You, you walk away. Ah, oh, you're right. Easier said than done. I'm telling you. Mm. Why would you want to kill you? See, nobody can kill you. <laughs> nobody can. I, I will take your life. I will kill you first before you kill me. I will kill you over and over and over and over again. Nah. <laughs> nah. Don't come and kill me. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> Don't kill me. But I then I give you thumbs up. Mm. Thumbs up in the earth. For holding my friend down. You are indeed a strong man. Thank you. Thank you very much. But however, what uh, how, what do you mean by that? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you don't know my friend up until now. I mean, she is very stubborn and quite domineering. She always, always, always has a way. Mm -hmm. Oh, but... Mm. I love her like that. I love her like that. I mean, she's so dear to my heart. <laughs> it's okay. I, I am confident that I'm equal to the task. Yes. <laughs> so, um, she's not here yet. 
But she should be here soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this year's husband will be tough. How do you mean tough? We were just casually talking about the rate of starving of husbands by their jealous wives and his mood changed instantly. Mm -hmm. How? He said, um, I will kill the woman as many times before she even thinks about it. Are you serious? I don't understand. Why? I'm dead serious. In no honesty, he scared me. He really wow. did. He was like, I am not marrying out of love. He's only getting married because of maturity and understanding. Meaning what? I don't know. I don't know. He was like, for example, if he cheats on you tomorrow, you will only get to pray for him instead of stabbing him. <laughs> and that is because you are matured and understand that men are just like that. <laughs> I want to believe, honestly, that he was joking. I hope so. I hope, I, I pray. I, I believe he's joking. But please, Nate, hmm? don't tell him. Just so he doesn't look like we're talking about him. Do I look like a child to you? <laughs> Thank you. So back to why I came. Yes, so you were saying? Um, can we just do flowers, you know? Do flowers or... The artificial ones have a way of just making everything look tacky. You think so? I think so. I had a hectic day at work. How come you're tired again? How are you I'm tired again headache. today? I have a headache. Please, please. Why are you like this now? This is what you've been telling me since you came here. Are you starving me? You're starving me. I don't understand. Eh? Charles, we're not married yet. Can't we just wait till our wedding night? What did you say? What do you mean we're not married? I paid your bride price. Yeah. Every other thing, apart from bride price, I just married ceremonies. We're married. Charles, no. No, we're, 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 the white wedding is the real marriage for me, please. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, listen, there. I'm a traditional man. What I recognize are the traditional rights, and I have fulfilled those rights. You and I are married. Don't deny me my right. Charles, I made a covenant with God that I will not sleep with my husband until our wedding night. That I will not let my husband touch me until our wedding night. And I intend to keep it that way. What kind of selfish confidence is that? Did you put me into consideration before making that kind of confidence? I'm holy, I want you. How do you expect me to cope till your wedding night? What do you want me to do? How have you been coping? Really? You want to know how I've been coping? Trust me, you, know, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want that piece of information. Look, I've been holding myself, waiting, waiting, waiting for a night like this. You, you, you don't do this now, don't stop me. Wait a little longer. The wedding is just around the corner, please. I don't like what you're doing. Honestly, how do you expect me to be this close to you and, and, and not feel like a man? I'm all aroused. I want you. Maybe we should just sleep separately. Excuse me? Yes. Just please respect my feelings. We'll have the rest of our lives together after the wedding. <laughs> Do not 
<laughs> ah, I hope it doesn't rain today. Oh. No, what that report says it's going to be sunny. You know what it said? Sunny, cloudy, with some rain, maybe. With the now, so of rain. Thank you. So, what do we go with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My pastor says that Nigerian weather forecasters are not to be trusted. They're even worse than native doctors. <laughs> Sweetheart, um, is it possible we have a conversation without your pastor coming up? In our conversations, is it? Is it possible? I only quoted him. Can you stop quoting him, please? Why are you... Why are you looking for something wrong in this conversation? I didn't see it. You know what? I need to run to work. My office is very far from here, okay? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Ask my mama the meaning of love Just like that Yeah, hello, who is this? It's me, Joy. How are you? Uh, uh, ben, don't tell me you've deleted my number. It is Joy. Your own joy, you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> joy. How are you? Hmm. I am still where you abandoned me. <laughs> Wait, did you just say I abandoned you? Yes. Uh, I mean, I told you we, we can be friends, but you just blanked out. I blanked out. <laughs> So I remember you blocked me both on phone and on WhatsApp. In fact, on any platform you feel I can actually reach you in. You just blocked me everywhere. Blocked? Okay. I did not block you. Hi. It must have been network. Yes. Oh, okay, listen to this story. The other time, I kept calling my grandmom. I called and called and called and they kept telling me, eh, it's not available, it's, all, it's not available. So I had to go to the village to know what really the problem is. And when I got there, can you imagine? The woman was with the phone. The old woman was with her phone. So it's, I, I didn't block you. It's network. Those people can be crazy. Well, it's all right. I know it happens at times. So, what do I actually owe this call? Ah, uh, <laughs> you self. Mm? Can't I get in touch with a friend? <laughs> or aren't we friends? Of course we are. We are friends. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> so, um, um, yes. <laughs> yes, we are friends. We're still friends. I... No, no, I think this is better. This no, 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 this is too basic. This, mm. and this. Do you know what? I honestly think I need to get two dresses for that. Really? really? <laughs> yes. Just in case there's one mishap or the other, I have something to fall back on. Mm? Okay. Yes. But I tell you, you've not seen anything Are yet. you serious? Of course. <laughs> Wait <laughs> until I get the stuffs for you. <laughs> oh, I'll be so, so, so happy. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. 
good? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. So these are my friends. Yes. Uju and Clara, both in the choir in my church. Uju basically um, deals in wares. She imports them from all over the world, especially in London. So she's come here to relieve me of the stress on my wedding day by making sure I look my best by bringing the best of the best of the wedding dresses. This too. Oh, okay. What do you think? But well, you, you mentioned that um, she brings yeah, she stuff brings, in from... Yes, from everywhere. From overseas. London, Turkey, you name it. Yeah, but sweetheart, do you not think that we can find whatever class of wedding dress that you need on her big day oh. here in this country? No, 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 no. You're missing something. She is doing this at no cost at all. Not even air fare. Nothing. At no zero cost. Zero. See, um, Mr. Charles, I tell you, you don't compare China wares with UK. You need to see your wife on that day. Mm. She will really look beautiful. Mm. Please try and promote my business. Good. Um, well, um, I didn't get your name the first time. Clara. 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 Yeah. Listen, my dear, I see your point. All right, um, and I'm not in. I'm not here to interfere with your business. But I'll have you know that I'm strongly against the dumping of foreign waste in my country. I'm of the opinion, sweetheart, I'm of the opinion that our local designers should be encouraged and their work be promoted properly at all times. I believe that is the way to go. Okay, so my wife and I will um, source for the best of the best here in Nigeria for our big day. Okay? All right, ladies, it's been a very busy day, if you'll allow me. Thank you. Thank you, too. Right. And thanks for stopping by again. All right. Allow me, ladies. Don't tell me we're having tea tonight again for dinner. I'm sorry. I I came back late. I couldn't muscle up anything in the kitchen. This was what I came up with. I'm sorry. Why? Amaka, why? Why is it that you don't ever find the time to make something solid in this house for someone to eat? Charles, why don't you complete the statement? It's okay. You can just say, Amaka, why don't you know how to cook? It's fine. Oh, well, those are your words, no, not my words. Are you trying to tell me something? Why are you such a fault finder? For me? Fault finder? Yes. I mean, you find fault in every single thing. I, ever since I came to this house, you've been finding one fault from another to another to another. What's wrong? I came back late. I couldn't muscle something up. If the, of all... You know, I'm With confused. the traffic and everything, you still want... I'm confused. I don't understand why you're offended. I'm the one who's offended. You're offended? Very offended. Oh, I see. So after all the things I've been through, I will still look at... There's nothing in the house. Or would you prefer not eating anything? You know, you're such a lawyer. Oh yeah, you are a lawyer. You see, the way you have just laid out your excuses, they look so beautiful. Oh, so my excuses are meaningless? Is no, your, you're your excuses say? mean that we're going to have to starve to death in this house at some point. Come on now. Come on, it's food. You have to make time for food. Really? You know what? It's not a problem. No, it is a problem. No, it's not a problem. It man. is a problem, nah. Charles. It is a problem. No, it's a problem. When we make it an issue, now it's not a problem because I'm already mixing the tea. I'll drink this tea tonight. All right? No, let's have tea. What, what, what we can't have tea for dinner? You know? Three nights on the road? 
Why not? Are you happy? Why are you so inconsiderate? <laughs> I'm the bad guy now, right? See, for dinner. It's fine. Tea is really nice, baby. Where are you going? I'm going to my house. Come on now, Maka, what is the meaning of this? I want to avoid C finish syndrome. C what? C finish syndrome, Charles. The way you are going, I'm not sure I'll be worth anything to you before the wedding day. Okay, look, if, if it's about what I said last night, it, it's a joke. Okay? Please. Charles, I will operate better from my house. I'm sure that way you and I will have more respect for one another. Amaka, are you actually serious about this? I am this? dead serious. I'm actually finding it really difficult to operate from here because most of my personal things are in the house. I see. Your mind is really made up. Yes, it is. You want to go? All right, no problem. If it's what you want, it's okay. Um, call me when you get home. Just like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know it totally skips my mind? I'm really, really sorry. You know, I had this very important meeting with a client at the office today. You know, that took, it took the best of me. I got out of the office, got very exhausted. I decided to just rush home and beat traffic. Now, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, I forgot. I forgot. What? Can we not do this tomorrow, please? I'm, I'm really tired, okay? I can't come out this evening besides the traffic time. I'm, I, can't, I can't do that drive right now. Sweetheart, you can't get me into this stress right now. Please, like, let's not do this, okay? Let's, let's reschedule some other time, okay? We can, we can always have this meeting and sort things out. Amaka, of course, it is stress. Because I'm tired. I've had a very busy day. And why are we even having this conversation? I mean, if you hadn't left, if you were still here, we won't be having this back and forth right now. Listen, Amaka. You're used to having things done your way, but this time, no. All right? I'm home, tired, resting. If you guys feel that the meeting is really important, you can move it down here. I'm home. Not picking up a call become an issue. Well, yes, well, yes. well, see where we are right now. If you had just picked up, Amaka, if you had, I called you all through yesterday. Charles, why do you like to be difficult? How am I being difficult? Why? I called you. Why did you not take the call? I don't do anything to do. What is wrong with you? Are you saying that I'm jobless? I have work to do, Amaka. I have way busier than you. Are you sure you don't have anything to do? Please, Charles. Oh, yes. I was you calling right you. Now? I'm serious. I was calling you while taking your calls. I took initiative. I transferred money to my cousin. Charles, there's absolutely no way you would take that initiative without hearing from me. But I did. Charles, 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 which is, is why I was trying to call you. Which is why I was trying to call you. And so you didn't hear from me it's just, it just last, last night. My God. So what do you want us to do now? What do you mean? You, what, what do you want me to do? So Nan is here. She'll, she'll be the one in charge of decoration. That's well, all. Well, I already transferred money to my cousin. And then he will give you back your money. No, it doesn't work that way. So you cannot tell me it doesn't work that way. Okay, you know what? You know, uh, uh, Please. Hold, hold on. Listen. I have a solution to this problem. All right? I have transferred money to my cousin. Both of them can jump on it and do it together. How can they decorate your home? together it's what, not possible what is so not possible conflict of interest conflict of colors conflict of everything just amaka do you realize that this is my wedding too yes 
Oh, so you, know, you shouldn't have taken the initiative. Do you realize that I have a say in this matter? And I have a say as well. Do you realize that? I'm the man here. I'm and the what, man here. And what I say is final. Really? Yes. You will have to listen to my own side first. Ma. <laughs> I said, shut up, Susan. Are you sure this wedding is going to hold? Are you going to marry yourself? Are you sure this wedding is Are going to hold? Are you going to marry yourself? We have a situation here and I have profiled a solution. And if you're not going to take so it, that solution suit yourself. Is not going to work. Suit yourself. It's not going to work. Suit yourself. Yes. Avanka. Yes. Avanka. Yes. <laughs> So we had come back down. Come back to the house. Come back where? Here now. No. Please. No. I miss you. I miss you too, but no. Please. I cannot come back. We're doing so well apart. It is the standard and tradition that intending couples will be far away from one another until they get married and they can be under one roof, okay? So that see finish syndrome will not enter the matter. So that people will be what, you know? So this tradition is tradition by Amaka. See, me, I'm used to your tantrums and your bad mouth. So anything you say now is gonna be like this. 